Thank you for checking out the Sodium Dental YouTube page and website. This video is the first part in a series on how to install the Aptrix X-ray vision imaging software for use with dental X-ray sensors, phosphor plate systems, and digital panos. To install the Aptrix imaging software, the first thing we need to do is download the install file from the Aptrix website. Just open up a web browser, go to www.aptrix.com. You can see it right up here in the address bar here. On the main page, top right corner, there's a link to get your 30 day free trial. If you click on this link here, it will download the install file to your computer, and this file will be used for whether you want a 30-day trial to check out the software or if you already have a license code and you're installing a permanent version on your workstations. So just go ahead and click on the get your 30-day free trial. It will prompt you to download the file. Simply download it to a place that you can find it. Um, the desktop would be the ideal spot. That would be easy to find. Once it's downloaded, you just go to your desktop open it up. I already have a copy downloaded on my desktop so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this and get into it. So the first thing that we want to do to install the X-ray vision imaging software is we need to create an install directory on our server. So what I need you to do is go to your server and open up my computer and then on my computer you're gonna to go to your data drive in your server most servers will have a C and potentially a D drive that has your data on it. C drive is generally reserved for your operating system. On my server, it's actually the E drive. I have it labeled as storage, so this is where I'm going to install it. Let's go ahead and open up your data drive. And what we need to do next is create an install directory for X-ray Vision. So I'm simply just going to create a new folder and label it Aptrix Imaging. We can then close out of my computer and begin the install process. So to initiate the install file, what we need to do is right click on the icon. This menu will pop up. We're going to run as administrator. At this point, the self extractor will open and we will go ahead and click unzip. We'll just need to give this a few seconds to unzip itself and then we can begin the software installation guide. Now that the self extractor has completed, we will click OK and then once we click OK it will go ahead and open up the installation menu. To install Aptrix Imaging on your server, we're going to go ahead and click on Install Aptrix Imaging. This will then prepare the install wizard, which will guide us through the rest of our installation. So at this main page here, we're going to click Next. And then we are going to scroll down. We're going to read through our the agreement from Aptrix. Make sure you give this a look through, read it. Once you agree with it, go ahead and click yes. On this page here, uh, you are going to want to put your name and then your practice name. So I don't have a practice, obviously. I have a dental technology company, so my company name will be Sodium Dental. We're going to leave anyone who uses this computer checked and go ahead and click on next. The install wizard may or may not grab the folder that we created on your server's uh, data drive. If your folder is not chosen here, simply click on Browse. Go to your data drive. Find that Aptrix Imaging folder that we created and go ahead and hit OK. You'll see right here it will have your drive letter and then Aptrix Imaging folder. Go ahead and click on Next. 
On this page here, we're going to go ahead and leave all of these checked and leave XV Lite unchecked. Click Next. On this page here, this is for add-on components. Again, we're going to leave all of the default selections checked. Only time you'll want to check the other boxes is if you've been instructed to do so by your support person. Click Next. On this page here, this page is where we will select all of the hardware that we plan to use with X-ray Vision. It is okay if you do not select certain items here. If you ever want to add on an X-ray sensor or add on any additional components, those upgraders can always be downloaded from the Aptrix X-ray Vision website free of charge. So we're going to go through this list and select the sensors that we want to install. This is checked by default. Go ahead and leave that checked. This upgrader here is actually what is used for any intraoral cameras, or at least most intraoral cameras. So we're just going to go ahead and leave that checked, leave it installed. I'm going to go through and I'm going to select a few different sensors that I would like to use. I would like to use the Gendex sensor. I would also like to use the quick ray sensor. I would also like to use the Schick sensor, the SUNY and SUNY Ray 2. And then, let's see, this is good enough. I'm going to select those and hit next. Now we need to choose the practice management software that we would like to use. Go ahead and choose Dentrix G5. That's a pretty common practice management software. When you get to this menu, you're going to want to scroll through and choose the practice management software that you use. And what this does is it actually installs a data drill so that Aptrix Imaging can communicate with your practice management software. These data drills will allow Aptrix to grab your patient information from your practice management software and bring it into X-ray vision so that you don't need to do any double entry of data or spend more time adding patient info into X-ray vision. You just click on name grabber, which is the data grabber, and name grabber will grab all the info from your patient's chart and pop it right into X-ray vision. Quick and simple. Go ahead and click next. This menu here is all of the communication components available in the X-ray vision software. For the time being, we are just going to leave the default selection selected because this our main focus here is to get Aptrix installed so that you can test it and use it. Again, if you ever need any of these additional components, you can always add them later. It is not a problem at all. Go ahead and hit next. We're just going to leave these checked. This is going to install your support files like your help documentation as well as a sample database, uh, John and Jane Doe patients for testing purposes. We're just going to go ahead and leave that selected. At this point the install wizard is going to give you a general overview of exactly what we chose in each section. So you can see our selected applications we left as default. Um, so we have name grabber and x-ray vision, our add-ons, Again, we left this default. Our imaging devices, you can see I chose Gendex, the Quick Ray sensor, SUNY sensor, the SUNY Ray 2 for the older style sensors, and the Schick sensor. And then our data drill, um, Dentrix G5, as well as Open Dental. Go ahead and hit Next. And at this point, the wizard is going to go ahead and fully install the Aptrix imaging software into the folder that we chose. Once the install wizard has completed, your X-ray vision is installed, and we can just go ahead and click finish because we are done. Now we can exit the installation, and you can see here the icon on the desktop. This is for X-ray vision. You can give it a little test, open it up, and once it opens, you can see here that it will give you uh, another terms uh, and agreement, which you should read through. 
once you accept it you can go ahead and register if you already have a license key go ahead and enter your license key here and then all of your information and then hit get activation code this will actually link up with the Aptrix servers and it will get an activation code for you and then you can click done or we can hit continue using trial and continue to use the free version to open up the software simply click I agree thanks for watching if you have any questions on how to install the X-ray Vision software, feel free to give us a call 1-800-821-8962 or you can always email us support at sodiumdental.com. We also have an online chat function on our website. If you go to sodiumdental.com, you'll see in the lower right corner a little pop-up window where our IT specialists can assist you via chat. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our other videos.